All right, use properties of exponents to simplify these. Um, I don't know that the properties of exponents are really going to help us here. Here's what I'm going to do, all right? So I'm going to take this 8 and kind of separate it from everything else. So 8 times the 6th root of c to the 4th over the 6th root of a to the power of negative 2 times b to the power of 5. Here's why I'm doing this like this is because I have the same index for the numerator and denominator meaning that I can make this 8 times the 6th root of c to the 4th over a to the negative 2 times b to the 5th. Yeah, and that's the point of this is this one's telling us to use positive exponents. Right here I've got an a to the power of negative 2. So if I reciprocate that and put it in the numerator then it's going to change that exponent to a positive. So I've got 8 times the 6th root of c to the 4th but once again I've reciprocated that a so now it's a to the positive a to the power of a positive 2 all over b to the 5th technically I would be fine with this I do want to say that they want to show this is separate individual numerators and denominators meaning that I would have 8 times the 6th root of c to the 4th times a squared all over the 6th root of b to the 5th. <coughs> Alright, so that's a good point. Let's, let's look at the exponent thing. Uh, so I really have 8 times c to the power of 4 sixths times a to the power of 2 sixths over b to the power of 5 sixths. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is because I can simplify these fractions. For example, this 4 6 is really 2 thirds. And then 2 6 would really simplify into 1 third. So I guess technically, since it did tell us to use properties of exponents, maybe this is what it's looking for.